right? Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Raka, Kadash, the honors our apostles of Great Millstone, the true elders of Israel who rule well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect out there pushing his truth and sincerity. This is the brother Bashar. And um, for those of you who don't know, Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father. And Yahweh Shai is the name of his beloved son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Uh, Rakat Kadash is the Holy Spirit. This is how you say the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit in the Paleo Hebrew, also known as the Ancient Hebrew, also known as the Paleo Hebrew. Slakia. Um, if y'all didn't hear the rest of this, uh, the beginning of this video, I'm just gonna continue on just, 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 just in case uh, the recorder caught it. All right, I wanted to start off with Matthew chapter 22, uh, and this is just another lesson uh, on uh, breaking down strongholds because these uh, modern-day Christians they like to say that the laws is uh, done away with, and there's only two laws, you know, especially the the um, the uh, well, from my experience. The Pentecostals. I went, I went, I went, I went, I went, I went to this baby showers with my girl, and um, it was like a Pentecostal baby baby shower, and I got into a little discussion of the scriptures, and um, it led to the law being done away with, and all this and that, and um, one of the one of the um, the things that they that that they said was uh one of the scriptures that they brought out was uh matthew chapter 22 uh verse i'm gonna start at verse 37 yahweh shai sent out to home thou slakia verse i'm gonna start at verse 20 of uh, 36 master which is the great commandment in the law Yahweh Shai said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy power. Yeah. With all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like unto it, Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself this now this is the point on uh, these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets okay so this is what they like to say that they basically like to say that the, the law is done away with that you only gotta uh love your neighbor for you know it's like your first and foremost you, you, you gotta love the uh the most high and love your neighbor well I wanted to bring out some some some, some precepts uh, proving that to not be true okay because first and foremost what is love okay well let's get it All right, this is uh, John chapter 14, verse 15. Let's get it. Let's lock you. John chapter 14. I was going to scroll all the way down to 15. Okay. It reads, If ye love me, keep my commandments. Okay, so what is love? 
love is the keeping of the commandments. All right. Now the second scripture I'm going to bring out. So you got to treat the. Uh, so it's not that the, the the laws are done away with. Is that you got to keep, you got to uh, treat your. Uh, you got to uh, you know love the Most High, and treat your treat um, your fellow neighbors according to the law. Okay. So that means that you know if you see if you see them eat eating pork or whatnot or breaking any of the com 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 commandments, you correct them, you know. And the second scripture that I want to bring out is uh, Matthew chapter. We're gonna go to chapter five, and I'm gonna make this straight to the point. Verse, uh, and I'm gonna scroll down to seventeen, you know, further proving that the law is not done away with. Okay, this is, and this is coming straight from the Messiah's mouth, straight from Yahweh's mouth. Okay, this is Matthew chapter 17. It's like in chapter 5, verse 17. It reads, Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but fulfill. Okay? And also, I wanted to bring out a bonus scripture. So, you know, that's, that's basically what the Lord is saying. Um, you know, the law is not done away with. And a bonus scripture to, you know, seal the deal is... I'm going to bring out, you know, because, you know, we got to get into the Old Testament for you uh, Old Testament only. Or, you know, whatever you call those, you, you know, whatever your, 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 your names is. So we're going to go to Matthew. I mean, it's like Isaiah chapter 16, and we're going to scroll down to 17. Okay, it reads... Now, this is talking about the the, the the coming of the Messiah. All right, this is this will this is this is talking about. So you know, because we read that first uh, six, it, 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 uh, sixteen in it, it talks about how the Lord is going to come back. Okay, uh, not Slaki, You can read that verse fifteen. You know, it talks about how. So you this is Isaiah chapter sixty-six, verse fifteen. But I'm going to go straight to the point for time's sake. And um, like I said, that could start at verse 15. But this is talking about the end days when the Messiah is coming back. The, the, the second coming of the Messiah. Now, what's going to happen? Well, let's get it. Matthew, chapter, um, Isaiah chapter 66, verse 17. They that sanctify themselves and purify themselves in the gardens behind one tree in the midst eating swine's flesh. And the, bom the, and the abominations and the mouses shall be consumed together, said Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, so this is coming from, like, this is coming from the Old Testament prophesying about the second coming of the Messiah. So, it's saying if you basically break the dietary law, you will be destroyed. <laughs> You know, and it, it 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 don't get no more plain than that. Well, you know, Matthew chapter uh, chapter five verse seventeen. You know, but this is this is f f furthermore comp complements that scripture, and um, furthermore proves the point. And um, you know, and with that, this is the brother Bashar. I like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakodash, the honors to our apostles of Great Millstone, the true elders of Israel, who rule well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect out there pushing this truth and sincerity. Shalom.